Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on angle facts. What we're going to do is we're going to go through all of the facts about angles that you need to know for your exam with a few examples. So let's begin. Fact number one, a straight line. What we need to know about a straight line is it will add up to 180 degrees. The angle on a straight line will add up to 180 degrees. So if we were looking for this angle here, x, and they gave us that angle here as 140, well, we know that that must add up to 180. So we do 180, take away the 140, that will leave me with 40 degrees. So angle x is 40 degrees, and the reason, and you often get a mark for writing your reason, is angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So that's our first most simple fact. The angles on a straight line are 180 degrees. Let's have a go at another one. Fact number two, a full turn. Well, we know that a full turn will add up to 360 degrees. So let's do a question. If we're looking for this angle here, x, and we're given this one as 120 degrees, and this one as 140 degrees, then we must work out what's missing. So altogether, that will add up to 360. So we add up the two numbers they give us, 120 and 140. And when we add that up, that will give us 260 degrees. Well, we know it's got to add up to 360 because it's a full turn. So we'll do 360, take away our 260, which leaves us with 100 degrees. So angle X is 100 degrees. And the reason, if they ask us for one, we'll always get a mark for this. The reason is a full turn is 360 degrees. Right, the next fact. Fact number three, a triangle. We need to know a triangle has three angles. And we need to know that if you add up the angles in a triangle, you'll get 180 degrees. So that's another fact we need to know. So let's do a question. They'll normally give you two of the angles. Let's say that one's 40 degrees. And this one here is 60 degrees. And we're looking for x at the bottom. So if they give us this question, what we would do is we would add up the numbers they give us, 60 degrees and 40 degrees. And that will give us 100 degrees. And we know, because it's a triangle, it has to add up to 180. So 180 is a triangle. Take away what we've got will leave us with 80 degrees. So the missing angle in here is 80 degrees because that will make it add up to 180. And again, if they ask us for a reason, we would say angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, there are the three very basic facts about angles. Now we're going to have a go at some of the ones that you need to remember. So here we have a set of parallel lines. Uh, in an exam, they'll normally put arrows on to show they're parallel, like I've just done there. Right, the first fact we're going to learn, if this angle we say is 50 degrees, then this angle here, the one which is opposite it, is also 50 degrees. So they are opposite angles. So opposite angles on a cross will always add up to the same amount. So let's pretend this angle here was 130 degrees. Then we know that this angle here would also be 130 degrees because they're opposite. So really important, very helpful angle fact. Opposite angles are the same. Right, let's do another one. Again, parallel lines will usually have arrows on to show that they're parallel. This time, we'll do an angle here of 40 degrees. Now, if that angle's 40 degrees, we also know that this angle here is 40 degrees. The reason is they're in the same place, but on a different part of the cross. 
So it's at the bottom left corner on both crosses. So they're both 40 degrees. And the reason they're both 40 degrees is because they're corresponding. So corresponding angles mean they're on the same place, just on a different part of the cross. And they're always the same. So another example of that, if this angle here was 40 degrees, then this angle here is in the same place. It's in the top right, also 40 degrees. So when they're in the same place, but on a different cross, they're corresponding and they're the same angle. Let's do another fact. Again, parallel lines. So we put arrows on to show they're parallel. This time, this angle here, we're going to say is 50 degrees. Then I also know that this angle down here is also 50 degrees. So these two angles are the same because they are alternate. What that means is they are in, as some people notice, as a Z angle. They are in the insides of a Z. So those two are 50 because it's a Z angle. But we can't say Z angle. We must use the word alternate angle. So another example of that, if this angle here was 130, then if we sort of make the Z, the two insides of the Z, this one here would also be 130 because they're alternate angles. Right, let's put all of what we've learned together now to have a go at a question. So here's an example of an exam question. They've given us a set of parallel lines. I'm going to put arrows on to show their parallel lines. And they've asked us to work out X, Y, and Z and give reasons. So X, our first one here, is very easy. X is opposite this angle here, 53. So we know X is 53 degrees. And the reason, as we learned earlier, it's an opposite angle. It's opposite the 53 degrees. Well, that's very useful now because we can now work out Z. Because Z and X make an alternate angle. So at the bottom here, we have 53 degrees for Z. And the reason is it's an alternate angle, or what some people call Z angles. That leaves us one more to find, Y. Well, I hope you notice that this is a straight line. And a straight line adds up to 180. So a straight line is 180 degrees, and we've got 53 degrees on it, and we want to know what's left. So if we take away our 53 degrees, we're left with, borrow one from the 8, makes that a 7, makes that a 2, 127 degrees. So Y is 127 degrees, and the reason for that would be that it's a straight line, and the angles must be 180 on a straight line. So we've just gone through an example of a question there using some of the different skills we've learned, but we must remember all of these angle facts and the correct reasons for them because we can always get a mark for giving a reason for our answer. So on the next page, we have some practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.